and welcome back to Scarlet Rage Vintage and if you don't know who this woman is beside me I don't know whose videos you've been watching because it's obviously not mine. This is of course Brandy. Hello. <laughs> um, if my voice is a little bit husky it's because last night and yesterday I came up to London and we had a day of it basically. If you haven't watched the video it'll be in the link below. Go watch it. We went to Champ Olympiad, then two hours, then we went for dinner, then we went to a place in Bounds, Bounds Green, Green mm -hmm. that we had that no mm -hmm. idea that existed, um, but it was a really good night, um, so watch that video. But we are going to talk about Brandy because if you haven't noticed, she has a bit of a twang. Yes. It's not a UK twang. It's not a UK. It's America. To America. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not that great. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. no dance. Um, and I wanted to talk about Brandy moving over to the UK and how easy or hard it was for her, and how coming into the UK and sort of finding new friends and also joining a scene. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you you didn't re really, you knew people, but you didn't. I wouldn't, no. have, I wouldn't have been out dancing in Bounds Green <laughs> until the night, is what you mean. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I, let's first of all, let's talk about you. Brandy is my friend. Yeah. We got introduced through Laurie, mm -hmm. but we had sort of known each other from social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and let's the see. infamous Scarlet Rage vintage store in Crouch End that I had to see when no. I first got here. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, no. Um, basic, okay. yeah, bye, rest bye. in peace, cry. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about is, so you originally, well, you moved from New York, didn't you? I moved from New York, but is from Florida, hence yeah. not a New York accent. But I always think she's a New Yorker because... Yeah. Literally, the attitude of a New Yorker is yeah. really there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like this. No, I ain't got no time for that. Yeah. Mm -mm, no, no. 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 <laughs> I'm like, yay. Out of my way. You. Out of my way. Exactly. But you uh, moved over. What were you doing in New York, job wise? Uh, I was working at museums and galleries. I work with private collectors, helping different people. Yeah. With exhibitions, artworks, big fancy arty stuff. Cool. But then, you, what made you decide to move to the UK? I know you have family connections to the UK. I do. My father is from Lancashire. Old to get my citizenship took. About a year and a half. Yeah. Wow. And a then, year and a half. A year and a half. I had to go to Canada to get fingerprinted because they said they weren't going to do that in America and I needed to be fingerprinted, but they had no idea when they'd set up the services to do so. Okay. So my choices were go to Mexico or Canada. Mexico <laughs> you, or Canada. And... Basically, as soon as I got it, did now, the swearing in and everything. Yeah. So... There was a whole process, because obviously Brandy also has a cat, if you didn't see yes. Dion he's, in the video. He's running around here somewhere. Yeah, he's literally running around like a loon, <laughs> somewhere, cry crying at a window, probably, or crying just at himself. Just himself. Um, because you also had to move Theon with you. You weren't going to leave him in New York. Exactly. Now, how long were you in New York for? I was in New York for 13 years. Wow. And there was a whole process, obviously, to bringing Theon over here. Yeah, he needs extra shots. He has two microchips in his neck now because they didn't... And also, you had a whole thing because you um, had to find a place to live. I had to find a place to live. And... So explain to me how the process is that because you didn't come over here to go flat hunting, did you? Uh, I, I had one week where I was here for work, working down at South London Gallery, and... Was working every day and then going and looking at flats every night. And yeah. they were horrendous. Yeah. As people know who've looked for yeah, flats in it's, London. It's, if, you, if you're not from the UK and you're not from London, London market Ooh. for renting is Shuck. hardcore. Shock like, and horror. Yeah, you will see some absolute dumps. My friends Alison and Pip, who mm -hmm. some people know Pip Jolly. Yeah, I'll um, bing, bing, bing. Were looking for flats for me kindly and filming, walking through them, and Pip actually found this place for it's me. It's amazing. This place is yep. really, really nice. And I got it while I was in Hong Kong. It was like, take all of my documents, do everything, please let me move in. And that was it. Now, when you have got the FedEx of the keys and stuff like that, and you moving over, how long was the process for you? Because did you, obviously it took three years 
Well, it took a year and a half. It took a year and a half to get my citizenship. To get citizenship. Yeah, it what took about, another few months to get a flat. What about a job? Bad. Did you already have a job sorted? Well, I did because I had been working for myself, but then I was started applying for things and figuring out how I was going to keep freelancing and stuff over here because I didn't know how it was going to work. And applied on a lark for a maternity cover at the National Gallery. Yeah. And got it. And suddenly my, I'm moving to London. Yay! Went from like, oh no, I'm moving yeah, to I, London. I like, have a job. I have to move and start a job in seven weeks. Yeah, yeah. I spent about a month without stuff. Okay. I had a bed and a couch that I got here. Okay. And Theon, who was in hiding because he was mad at me for a month. <laughs> So that was a rough first month here. Love um, it. And yeah, and then my things arrived on the 23rd of December. Oh, wow. Yeah, just in time for me to have a few days off for Christmas. And then I spent all of Christmas two years ago unpacking my life. I can't believe life. it's two years. Yeah, I want to talk to you about is making friends. Yeah. And obviously you dress head to toe in vintage. Yeah. And you like vintage music it's yeah. kind of a lifestyle for you how easy was it for you to sort of make friends i think a little easier here than it is in the states really yeah because british people are so nice oh, i thought we were the so nice opposite. no <laughs> such nice people i thought we'd be like you're a stranger i don't know you no so nice um so yeah, so I think I stalked you originally first. That's fine. I don't mind. Um, and Lori, I knew Lori a bit, and from, mostly from social media, I think, from before I was here. And yeah. So she introduced me to you, and then you were lovely. Or goes to Sadie, who I'm really good friends with at this point. Um, Katie and. And then how did you them. find going out into the scene and going to vintage nights? Like, how did you find it? Because obviously you're coming from a whole different city, different crowd, and then coming yeah. over and sort of going to places where you necessarily, you do, like, you don't really know anyone, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, you don't. And I, I don't think I'm necessarily the most extroverted person to walk up to strangers and be like, hello, be my friend. Um, like, what are you trying to say, girl? <laughs> like some people. What are you trying to say? Um, <laughs> you just spent a lot of time talking to random people last night. I, <laughs> I can't help it, literally. Like, See, friendly British people who <laughs> will talk to you. <laughs> but I'm also Greek, so it's also the part yeah. of the Greek, like, literally, because I have so much freaking family. I'm yeah. like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think you just like you go out with one person. You need like one good friend who's like, mm -hmm. please come out and do this thing. There's yeah. gonna be other people there who are really nice, and you do kind of like say like, please, please don't leave me, please hold on to me, um, for a bit. But then you end up sitting and talking to someone, or you go to a bar to get drinks with someone. Yeah, I mean, I've met like lovely little Eva through you and yeah, Sadie and I don't know. Like everyone Eva, seems to know Eva. Eva. Eva's, Eva's um, an extension of everyone. Yeah, everyone knows her. She's a social butterfly. Um, she is. So yes. Yeah. And then I dragged you to the rave. You dragged me to the rave, which had been I'd been here about six <laughs> months or something, seven I was months. Like, we're and going to the we're gonna, weekend. Uh. We're gonna go stay in a Pontins. You don't know what that is, but you will. And, I was like, and you're you'll be scared, like it. scared of it, just like the rest of us <laughs> in no time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we went to the rave, and I didn't really know. Anyone, no. Anyone. But then, we like, the rave. we, you guys. I think we just spoke to a lot of people, and a lot of people just came up and sort of... Yeah. Conversation. Number one, learn to let go. In what respect? Um, we all have things that we love, and yeah. yes, admittedly, I did bring a lot of boxes of shoes and handbags. And things, okay. But I got rid of a lot. Okay. Which is sad because I still think of some things that I said. Goodbye to my my handbag. Um, but I did. I did a big sale. Okay. And I know some other people have been moving. So they are doing the same. And you kind of just have to just let it really let it go. It's like get it out into the world. Other people can enjoy your things. You can't you can't move everything. No. It one costs a lot to pack it all up and move <laughs> yeah. it. And two, you don't necessarily know what your space situation is going to be like on the other end. Exactly. So. Number two? Number two, be open to things being difficult. Okay. Because it's not always easy. Okay. And you have, you have some moments where you question what you did and think, you know, oh, it had been so much easier, like the life that I knew. 
It's not. It's not always easy. Okay. You just have to be okay with that. It's okay for you to miss your friends. Yeah. Which is probably number three. Like, it's okay to be sad sometimes. Okay. Like, sometimes I go back and read. I have a little box of little note cards that all my friends had written for me at my goodbye party. And sometimes if I'm sad, I go through and I read them. The right choice and that you're in a better place. Yeah. And that you're happier. It's fine. Number four. Number four. Know what you want. Okay. Because getting through the difficult and sad is knowing that you did the right thing. Yeah. And I knew I had wanted to live in England for, God, as long as I could remember. I mean, I grew up with, like, portraits of the Queen Mum over the fireplace. <laughs> oh, and God, it was really ingrained in me early on. And because I didn't have my citizenship, I couldn't. Yeah. And it was like, just, I knew I wanted it. And I think if you do a big move, you go through all of the troubles yeah. Because you think you might kind of want to be someplace, it's going to be a little harder. Okay. You have to actually, I think, really want it to deal with all of the problems and things that go along with it. Us, right. Number five. Number five. Have good friends around you. Aww. Yeah. I think you need them in a big move. And yeah. whether it's the old ones or the new ones that you're making yeah. and developing a life for yourself in this new country with new friends, you just need your friends around you. Those are the ones you can call anytime, whether it's that you're sad about your move or that it's like, hey, I want to go out and do something yeah. because I want to dance and I want to like have yeah, a little boogie, like, be around some ladies, like do stuff. You she need sent, friends. She sent me a message last week saying, do you want to come to two hours? Yeah. And I literally just You need a boogie, you need a boogie. I was like, yes. Yes. And I was like, got my butt on a train. I was like, yep. yes, let's do this, let's yep. do this. Exactly. And, and it was so good. Yep. And you have friends to then be like, hey, well, yes, I want to come to that, but I can't necessarily stay, like, yeah. I don't want to drive home. It's like, obviously. So I was like, like, I need a couch. Yep. So I me and Theon had fun. Yep. Had a little snuggle. <laughs> yes, yep. I did. Yep. Yeah. So you need, you just, you need those friends and it really makes a move so much less painful. And like you said, it. Hard to believe it's been two years. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I point. can't believe that because literally, it feels like you just live here. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and you have always lived here. Yeah, and it's because of a friend who really welcomed me and taken me out, and are like really amazing people. Yeah, this is all y'all. So if yeah. you are thinking about moving <laughs> and you are worried, hopefully this video has helped you. Yeah. Had a lovely home and. Yeah. I think this video was important because I think you know there are women that want to make a move and mm -hmm. that are scared and yeah, you and are single as well it's I am single <laughs> hello man hi I like beards <laughs> <laughs> but coming from the fact that you are single so it was quite yeah I it's hard it's yeah if you go with someone who's your partner you you have, you have someone like you built in, yeah built in but I didn't and you do. You just have to go out and know that you can go out and talk to people and people are going to be really nice to you and be really supportive. And if they're and not, then they're not the right people exactly. for you. Exactly. You just move on and you find your your group. Yeah. And there are. There are those groups everywhere. Yeah. Of course. And there are good ones here. Yay. Yay. But um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't watch our video of our night out and Ooh. day out, Link is below. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. Because it was really fun. It was. She even got, went and danced. I danced. And I Again. filmed it. Sorry, Bas. <laughs> and I filmed it. <laughs> so, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.